Hello, it's Alison Mead from Silicon Bullet with another instructional video, this time on how to do a contra entry in Xero. So in this scenario, the customer Bayside Club is also a supplier. And if we go and look at their account, we will see, I go and look in contacts and search for Bayside Club, you can see that we owe them £130, but they owe us £234. So rather than us pay them and risk them not paying us what they owe us, what we're going to do is we're just going to ask them to pay the balance of the two payments. So if I go to my dashboard and my reconciliation, we can see, there we go, they have paid us the £104 that they owe us but we need to be able to match this. So if we click on find and match, first thing I'm going to do is look for Bayside in here. And you can see it's only showing uh, the receive items. It's showing the fact that we're owed an invoice. See there, sales invoice. So we can mark that against there. But we can see we've still got that 130 balance because we need to also account for the fact that we owe them money. So that's where you tick on this show spent items box. Because we've already done the search, it's just showing us Bayside. And we can also tick as a contra the fact that it's the bill. So you can see, you can tell it's an invoice because it's green. And you can tell it's a bill because it's red. And if you see anything in here with grey lines, then that means you have already put a payment onto an invoice or a receipt and it's showing you the payment that you've put in. So there we go. Nice and easy. That now all balances and we can reconcile. Let me just show you what that looks like in the accounts. So if we go to the invoices and let's just search for Bayside. There we go, it's been paid and we can see there, it's sitting there as the payment. Similarly, if we go to the bill, that will show as a payment as well. But if I click on the payment, we can see exactly what we have done, that we have contrad these two payments. So all the records are in there for your audit trail. So there you go, that's how you contra a payment for if somebody is a supplier as well as a customer. If you'd like to see any more videos, then do follow Silicon Bullet on, uh, on my YouTube channel. Or if you prefer the written word, you can go to blog.siliconbullet.com. I have done a blog about contouring as well. Or uh, you can go to the Bookkeeping Basics podcast if you're new to bookkeeping and you're wanting to find out a little bit more about what you should consider in choosing a bookkeeping package and what you should do. So that's Alison Mead from Silicon Bullet, Silicon Bullet, can't even say my company name, signing off. I look forward to helping you again soon.